Alright, so let's use some of those torches I purchased. So see what's going on. Uh-oh, attack. Why, it's a eider. An eider. I don't know what's going on here. But really, this guy, um, actually was known as a Droon in the original. A lot cooler name, if you ask me. But yeah, for this cave right now, Scorpion, is he going to rock me like a hurricane? <laughs> oh, terrible. Just terrible. No, but seriously, like I was saying, this cave, we're only concerned about walking downwards right now. The rest of it's not such a concern. So after a while, you can know your way through without a torch, which will save you eight gold. And as we all know, I'm all about saving a bit of cosh. A Magikian. Damn Magikian. They know Fireball, but that's about all they can do. I haven't seen it hurt you as much as it hurts them, though, thankfully. And like that, we're on the far side of the Marsh Cave. Oh no, we got hurt. Well, let's walk this way. Get out of the foothills. And also walk around the desert. The desert actually has the same encounter rate as uh, mountains. It's good to know. Ooh, a metal scorpion. We could actually be in trouble here. I didn't heal up, which might be a mistake. Let's attack. He took a defensive pose. I'm cool with that. <laughs> Let's actually heal ourselves. Ooh, nine damage. That's fine. Let's try to take this guy down. Man, he's tough. Can we fireball this fella? This fine swank fella? We can, but barely. Oh, stop taking a defensive pose. This fight will take forever if you do that. There's nothing I'm doing any real damage to him anyway. Now let's cast another fireball. Kill this guy. There we go. So yeah, they're pretty tough on defense. Alright, level 8. Bonus! Now what do we get? What do we get? Ah, stats everywhere. That's unusual for a level up in this game. Actually, let's use one of our herbs just to save our magic points in case we need them. Yeah, this area, we're probably coming here a little early, um, strength-wise. So, you know, we could be in trouble, because here's a wolf. Let's see if we can put the wolf to sleep. That would be very useful. Good. Now, we could run away if we wanted to, but I'm going to try to kill this guy. Because I want him to wake up immediately. Well, that was more or less a waste of magic. Oh, that's okay. Ten I can live with. We'll just cut this guy to pieces, slowly but surely. 40 experience, 60 gold. Nice. As you can see, the enemies are quite powerful here. But we wanted to get to this town. How are we doing for money? Not much. Hey, lady. The town of Rimmeldar. Excellent. There's the inn, which we'll probably stay at eventually. And freaking doors. What is up with this? Nothing useful for us to steal. Bull plop, I say. Bull plop. Grumble, grumble. Yeah, I remember your cameo in Legend of Zelda. Hmm, an old fellow who lives by himself. That could maybe be a sage. Nah, that's impossible. Well, we hear there's keys in this town, so we'll have to keep an eye out. Okay. I think someone's going to try to rape me or steal from me at night, one or the other. Actually, anything outside first before I go looking around in there? Oh, it doesn't look like it. it. does not appear the people are about. What a shame. What a dilly of a shame. It's a form of etiquette. Oh. Keep that in mind. Okay. I will. Eventually. But not right now. Yeah, I'm sure it was just uh, your money. Wow, people here are confident. <laughs> I heard you're a fanboy. <laughs> Sister's really mysterious. I heard that he liked to have sex with women. Or she. I don't know, but either way, that's what my fanfic say. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm sure it's because the Draco Lord is coming, not because you're a useless tit at business. I'm sure that's what it really is. Anything going on down here? There's a fellow out there. We'll have to go walk around the moat to talk to that fine, swank old boy. <laughs> hey, I'm just gonna tell you this randomly. If you ever meet Lodo's descendant, by all means, pass this along. There's nothing to be found. That's bull. Hey look, there's something with a bridge to it. 
I guess we'll have to check that out too. All kinds of interesting things to check out in this town. This mall's got everything. Yeah. Baby clothes. And a weapon shop. And armor. To boot. Let's see what we got here. So, we want one of those. Oh, hells yes, we want one of those. But we need another, like, 1,200 gold before we can do that. And we definitely want one of those. See, it's the same here. This one just recovers uh, one hit point for every two steps you take. It's not worth the extra cost. So we got to save up to 4,500 gold if you want to power that stuff up. And that's a little much for the grinding, even for me. So we're going to have to leave that alone for the moment. Huh. I don't need no stinking shop. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna do a little bit of uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, you know, it's all good. It's all money money. What a jerk. A warp wing, cool. Those will warp you back to Tantagel. But I want to watch. Alright, fine. People around here sure are touchy. Ugh, monsters are gonna kill us. Ugh, don't watch me change. Ugh, are you a rapist? Ugh, I mean, goodness gracious, whiners. Cut it out. Yeah, that damn Rogo. Probably just trying to play off Lodo's name to uh, get laid, honestly. Probably. Alright, let's see what we got here. Ooh, some pots. Let's check the pots. 123 gold. That is excellent news. And a defense seed, even better. Um, probably. 16 gold apiece. That's pretty cheap. Yep. Keep giving us keys. Yeah, we'll take as many as we can get because... They break. Oh, and then you only sell us so many, so we'll have to trek back here probably later. What a jerk. What a freaking jerk. Hmm, jerk. Hey, you. Ooh. Cool. Alright, but you're gonna join me back at... Alright, you're gonna join me here. We're gonna open this door and find treasure chests. Ooh. A real hero wouldn't steal. Well, I like how he shames me into it. Oh, no. No. I gotta leave it. That's bull dink. Bull dink. Now, these seeds are not found in the original game. This room in the original game only carries money, and each time you revisit, you get more and more money. So, you gotta figure out how much you gotta uh, put into keys to get the right amount of money. So, you know. And we replaced our key, that's cool. And 350 gold, excellent. So let's go in, we're sitting at 842 gold, we're coming along, coming along. Uh, agility, agility for this fella just doesn't want to move up. And there's another door back here that's locked, uh, right over here. But we're not going to do that for now, we're going to leave that to later. We could go now, but I don't want to. Anyway, you'll join me at Garenham. And here we are in Garenham. Let's open that door and go inside this place. Yep. Oh no. Well, too bad. The innkeeper and Dom Dora. We'll keep him in mind. Hey, fella. Okay, even though he's being sarcastic, I am definitely going to take... Wow. That's awesome. And a copper sword. Awesome. And a torch. Even better. In fact, we now sit there, and with the weapons we can sell, we will pass 1,500 gold. So, you know where I'm going to be going? You're not going to tell me where the tomb is. You're a jerk. Yep. Well, that was pointless. Thanks a lot, game. No, you know what? Since that's the way they're going to do things... Oh, look at that. There's a secret passage. But first, I'm going to go get me a broadsword. Awesome possum. Oh, man, that looks so nice. But let's get on with it. So, Garen's tomb. Hello, old fellow. Well, it is a tomb. Oh, well, I wish to die, I guess. So make sure you bring some keys with you and some torches. You need at least one key that I'm aware of. Holy god, attack already. Ooh, a Drachima! The highest level of Drachiness. But they're really no worse than Magic Drachies. Alright, a promotion. Nothing like getting promoted right at the start of a journey. Radiant. Oh, sweet. So torches aren't even necessary once you get that. 
Alright, so what's up here? I don't know. Let's see what we can find in this place of places. Wow, this looks like a good maze already. Alright, so what are we looking for? That is the question. Well, staircases mainly, but there is treasure to be found around here. Let's well, see, once this torch runs down, maybe I'll try some radiant. There's some columns. That could be a sign of good. Ooh, a droon! Droons are the level up magicians. But I think they still do more or less the same thing, so... You know, don't get too excited. The enemies in here are a little tougher, but with a broadsword I should be getting through easy peasy lemon squeezy. I think I was already in here, wasn't I? I think I was. Ooh, a skeleton. These guys are neat. They can actually take a little bit of damage, even with that crack in their skull. I think they'd be easy to split right open, but uh, no, surprisingly not. Oh well, let's just keep looking. We'll find something eventually. Wow, this place goes really far to the right, doesn't it? Yup, it sure does. Ooh, a poltergeist. Very cool. Well, not really, no, again. Doesn't really have any special abilities, it's just a, a ghost with a few more hit points. Sorry, a spooky. I'm thinking of the old names. Gold, ghost, and geist, and poltergeist. So, where exactly are we going? Well, here's the treasures I was worrying about. A life acorn, that's always nice. Yeah. And a key, nice. So a bonus key, in case we didn't know. So let's use this. Four more hit points. So let's move to the right and go down. Let's see what we can find. There's got to be something in here that's... There's some columns. Again, like I said, columns could be good. Or it could be an entrance to death. Hard to say, really. Ooh, a droll. It is quite droll how that thing looks. But it did take one round of hits, so that makes it better than most things in here. And that actually is semi-vulnerable. Go figure. Ooh, a door. Well, let's open that. Holy cracked floor, bad bad. Oh, I think our, uh, did our torchlight just shrink? It may have. Or maybe I'm just imagining things. I'm seeing more lit stuff. This could be good. There's the staircase. And thanks to the broadsword, this place is not challenging. Alright, so now where are we going? We're going places, I can tell you that much. Albeit very slowly. Yeah, over here? Or wait. I know it's around here somewhere. There it is. Let's take that. Ooh, a dead knight. This is an upgrade on the skeleton. He's probably going to do some damage to me because my armor's not the best. Holy flying god. Well. That was disappointing. So you know what? I think with that harsh reminder of the nasty stuff that's in here, I think we're going to call it a day. Join me tomorrow when I'll be back at the start of this floor and we'll be on our way to fight some more crap. Maybe I should have got the steel armor first. Oh well.